So we've talked about how to build your first E5 hero extremely fast, but how do you build your first transcendence hero fast? And when does that actually happen? Well, we're going to be talking about that here today. It's a long trip, typically takes months upon months before you can get your first one completely free to play. Of course, you're a spender, you'll get there a little quicker, but let's go over when it happens, what happens, and who it happens to. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one, hit that subscribe button, let's jump right into it. So as you may or may not know, Transcendence Heroes are the strongest heroes in the game. They actually have a completely separate tab if you want to take a look at all the Transcendence Heroes that are possible. Right now, I think we're up to 20 total Transcendence Heroes. We've been doing this since, I believe... Oh man, 2021, like that was like around August or something, 2021, where we first got our first ever Transcendence Hero, Sword Flash Shia, and my goodness, was she overpowered. Well, nowadays there are a ton of different options. There's quite a few routes to go, whereas there's one really important route to go with. Uh, we will talk about here but how do we actually get to these heroes well first and foremost you do realize the gate of the void opens up as soon as you have your first e5 hero it opens a bunch of different game modes two of them in particular are the most important one of them is the compass of transcendent uh, so this is one of the places where you can use your cores of transcendence in order to get crystals of transcendence these little purple resources and how do you get that hero? Well, you need to get up to 5 million of these. Yes, 5 million. You can see even me on my free-to-play account, we've been playing for about a month and we have about a million. However, we did start our account when there were a ton of big events and I think we've already done close to 90. Yeah, we've done 86 cores of transcendence. Now, the smartest thing for you to do is of course, use Compass of Guidance where you have a guaranteed transcending sphere every single 15 that you use you are never ever going to use these for these crystals of transcendence you're only going to use them for stellar shards please only use them for stellar shards if you are the gambling type of person you can always click the center button here and go to fate now there's no guaranteed transcending sphere it's just an even 6.67 percent chance to get a sphere now what that means is it's the same exact rate, except this one, you can only get one in every 15. This one, I mean, technically you get five, six, or you could get zero. Uh, as you guys seen on the channel, we've done hundreds and thousands of these in certain sessions. Most of the time we break pretty close to even, but occasionally we really, really low roll. So if you are a free to play player, you are going to want to do this right here. Now, when you do these summons, you are going to automatically get some crystals. And for the sake of this video, we're gonna jump on over to our main account and show you guys what you actually get per summon. So if we jump over here and we take a look at this right here, we're gonna, of course, just do them in fate on our main account because again, we're spenders, not a spender, don't do this. Every time you use one of these right here, you'll notice a little pop-up that says you just gained about somewhere in the eight to 9,000 crystals of transcendence. Uh, so that is one way that you generate those resources is just these summons. And again, it's going to take a while. There are other ways to get it, such as, you know, resources in Realms Gate. You can get some from there. In Void Vortex, every single week, you're gonna be able to get multiple times a week, Crystals of Transcendence based on the difficulty you've cleared and the planets, of course. Another great place is the Void Arc. Of course, you can get them from the actual expeditions and you can get them in the Central Hall shop. So there's a lot of different ways to get these resources. I don't add it to here. No, it's only stellar shards that you generate in campaign. You can't actually get those crystals, but getting up to 5 million crystals of transcendence is very, very important. And just to show you guys uh, a quick example here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a 10 summon for you. You can see you get 10 of them here. It's gonna just simply multiply. You get about 81 there. Gonna do another one. And there we go. We actually have one of those spheres. Again, another 81,000. So it's kind of slow to do it technically technically you can use these spheres for crystals i highly highly 
highly suggest that you never ever do this always 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 go for stellar shards because you're not always going to need crystals of transcendence you are 100 of the time always going to need stellar shards trust me this is what you do every time you hit it over here you never use it for crystals because you can even see on an end game account we, we just don't need any more transcendence heroes because the way you build transcendence heroes is very unique in this game where you're focusing on one project at a time now previously uh what we've been having luck with is we've been able to build our first transcendence hero which is going to be a vessa around the five to six month mark that is typically only if you're playing smart you're playing uh very intelligently when it comes to the bigger events you're saving resources up because big events give you a ton of extra opportunities to just gain crystals of transcendence stellar shards and of course the cores of transcendence that are very very important and of course you're going to want to make sure you're still powering up your main hero eloise and then you build a support hero the support hero your first transcendence hero is going to be either vesa or it is going to be hyperspace hunter Isla I suggest usually you go Vesa and you don't invest much at all in Vesa. Why? Because all of your power, all of your stellar shards are still going to go to your Eloise and Eloise tenants. This is kind of like your first transcendence hero is a placeholder. You're not going to see a gigantic power spike with your first transcendence hero. However, when you finally get to your second one, it'll be better. And of course, as time goes on, you'll be able to generate more transcendence heroes at a faster rate because you're going to be going to a higher difficulty level in uh, realms gate you're going to be going to higher difficulties in void vortex and again you're going to generate more of these resources as time goes on what it also means is you're going to generate a ton of other resources at a faster rate like heroic scrolls profit orbs and so forth and you might get more cores of transcendence during those special events which again in turn really ramps up the process of getting your hero however Think of it as if you are participating in some pretty big events, you might get around a million crystals of transcendence per month. On average, it's probably closer to about 500,000 to a million. Uh, so getting to 5 million is a hard trip to get there, but that's why getting such a big boost in your early game and starting as fast as possible is really important so you can get a ton of progression and get a ton of additional resources. Now there are two other places you can consider getting a boost on resources. Number one is you could always start buying cores of transcendence, not every day, but every few days uh, from the marketplace. If you are a senior privilege card holder here, you're gonna be generating a lot more gems every single day. You could probably afford to swing that. And that means you're getting another eight to 9,000 crystals of transcendence every single day, let alone potentially spheres, stellar shards, hero copies, all the such. These are one of the best things you can purchase. Now there is one other way you can get them and it's kind of the better way. And that is during your explorations here on Celestial Island, occasionally you're gonna have a shop pull up. The shop can sometimes have these resources in it. they'll either sell the crystals of transcendence stellar shards or a full core of transcendence uh they're both di there are all three are discounted to about twelve thousand five or 1250 uh 1250 essentially so it is a better discount rate if you can find them here however you're gonna they're gonna go to the cargo hold and you're not gonna get them until the end of it so if you're trying to push for progression or something it might become a little risky but those are the best ways to go about getting those resources so hopefully it helps you guys out plan ahead for your first transcendence hero and again it's really about patience it's gonna take quite a while but honestly i think the fastest i've ever seen a free-to-play get to a transcendence hero is a about four and a half months it is possible and then after that it's about every three ish months they're like kind of forward from there so let me know what you guys think hopefully it helps you guys out decide uh when you're actually going to be getting your first transcendence hero because it's not a huge power boost but it sets you up for on, on the right path to go even further hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time